October 14th, Daily Video Bible Reading from the Net Bible, Psalms chapters 135 and 136 from the Old Testament. Praise the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Offer praise, you servants of the Lord, who serve in the Lord's temple in the courts of the temple of our God. Praise the Lord, for the Lord is good. Sing praises to his name, for it is pleasant. Indeed, the Lord has chosen Jacob for himself, Israel to be his special possession. Yes, I know the Lord is great, and our Lord is superior to all gods. He does whatever he pleases in heaven and on earth, in the seas and all the ocean depths. He causes the clouds to arise from the end of the earth, makes lightning bolts accompany the rain, and bring the wind out of his storehouses. He struck down the firstborn of Egypt, including both men and animals. He performed awesome deeds and acts of judgment in your midst, O Egypt, against Pharaoh and all his servants. He defeated many nations and killed mighty kings, Sihon, king of the Amorites, and Og, king of Bashan, and all the kingdoms of Canaan. He gave their land as an inheritance, as an inheritance to Israel, his people, O Lord, your name endures, your reputation, O Lord, last. For the Lord vindicates his people and has compassion on his servants. The nation's idols are made of silver and gold. They are man-made. They have mouths but cannot speak, eyes but cannot see, and ears but cannot hear. Indeed, they cannot breathe. Those who make them will end up like them, as will everyone who trusts in them. O family of Israel, praise the Lord. O family of Aaron, praise the Lord. O family of Levi, praise the Lord. You loyal followers of the Lord, praise the Lord. The Lord deserves praise in Zion. He who dwells in Jerusalem, praise the Lord. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. For his loyal love endures. Give thanks to the God of gods, for his loyal love endures. Give thanks to the Lord of Lords, for his loyal love endures. To the one who performs magnificent, amazing deeds all by himself, for his loyal love endures. To the one who used wisdom to make the heavens, for his loyal love endures. To the one who spread out the earth over the water, for his loyal love endures. To the one who made the great lights, for his loyal love endures. The sun to rule by day, for his loyal love endures. The moon and stars to rule by night, for his loyal love endures. To the one who struck down the firstborn of Egypt, for his loyal love endures. And let Israel out from their midst, for his loyal love endures. With a strong hand and an outstretched arm, for his loyal love endures. To the one who divided the Red Sea in two, for his loyal love endures. And led Israel through its midst, for his loyal love endures. And tossed Pharaoh and his army into the Red Sea, for his loyal love endures. To the one who led his people through the wilderness, for his loyal love endures. To the one who struck down great kings, for his loyal love endures, and killed powerful kings, for his loyal love endures. Sihon, king of the Amorites, for his loyal love endures. Og, king of Bashan, for his loyal love endures, and gave their land as an inheritance, for his loyal love endures, as an inheritance to Israel, his servant, for his loyal love endures. To the one who remembered us when we were down, for his loyal love endures. And snatch us away from our enemies, for his loyal love endures. To the one who gives food to all living things, for his loyal love endures. Give thanks to the God of heaven, for his loyal love endures. God, I know it's impossible for us to understand how much you love us but I think in 
the spectrum of today's age, it's even more difficult for us to understand that love. I think we really struggle, and, and we meaning society kind of in general, we really struggle with the concept of enduring love, loyal love. It seems that more and more we're in a throwaway society that at the first sign of trouble, which simply means that somebody's ego got hurt in the relationship, at the first sign of trouble, it seems that we have throwaway marriages instead of enduring marriages. People, people don't have staying power. They're not loyal anymore. You know, the the increase in people cheating on each other in relationships and marriages uh, just continues to go up. Uh, as we love other people less and less and respect them, and we fall away more and more from your enduring love. You know, I think about my life and there's not a single thing in my life that has endured. <laughs> the only thing that has endured is you and the things you created in my life. Meaning the world around me, um, me, um, and our relationship. That is the only thing that's endured. Uh, people have come into my life and people have left my life. Uh, relationships have come into my life and left my life. Uh, locations have come into my life and left my life job titles in and out of my life it, it starts to feel if I start thinking back on my life like, almost like a revolving door of, of situations and not all the time were things given up on uh, but they certainly didn't endure and I, I don't think even in a materialistic way do we create things that are meant to last forever to endure forever uh, we're very much a throwaway society so we struggle with this concept of so sovereign love that you have for us and we really struggle with someone who's loyal to us even though we are not loyal to them and that love endures no matter what we do god that is completely baffling to truly understand what you mean by love, we have to completely rewrite our hearts because the love that we believe in is a worldly love. It's a love we see in movies and hear about in songs and, and see on TV. And it's the love we keep trying to chase after in relationships. And you're, pre you're pretty clear in the Bible. That's not the love. It's not the love you have for us. It's not even the love we're supposed to have in our marital relationships. You compare our marriages or what is supposed to be our marriages to how you love the church. Holy cow, I don't know any marriages that can stand up to that. I know a lot of couples who are trying and, and working towards that. But God, for the most part, we live in a throwaway society. You know me because I struggle a lot with this in our talks, but I've never had security in my life. When I was growing up, I moved around every year and a half or so. So I was never in one place for any given time. I always had uh, to start new friendships. And after a while, it was just easier not to start new <laughs> friendships because I knew I would be leaving in a year and a half anyways. And it just seemed to be no point. Once I, I moved on, you know, I was at this university for a couple years and then this university for a couple years. Everything seemed very transitory in my life. And when you came into my life in such a huge way and then stayed, <laughs> I was really confused. Not because you didn't say that you would stay like you do in the Bible. It's just I had never had anybody who did. I'd never had anything in my life who actually stayed. I never had anybody in my life, God, who loved me enough to fight for me. I never had anybody in, in my life who, who loved me enough to say, I'm not going anywhere. No matter what you do or what happens, I'm not going anywhere. I've never had that, God. I, I don't understand that concept. And I really struggle when I am in a relationship, the rare times I'm in a relationship, I really struggle with does this other person n understand this 
Or are they just going to be like everybody else and just leave my life? God, this, this psalm is so beautiful to me. Because it reminds me over and over again after every single verse that you're not going anywhere. And granted, you're not going anywhere no matter what I do, but let's hope that I continue to work on being a better person for you. But how crazy awesome that you're not going anywhere. That the love you have for me and for everyone else listening isn't going anywhere. That you have loved me before I was born. You love me now. You will love me after I leave this world. That forever eternal consistent kind of love that no human being can have for another. It is very difficult to understand God. But I do praise and worship you and thank you for loving somebody like me who does all the things that should cause you not to love me and not be consistent in my life. Yet you are patient and so grace-filled in my life that as I struggle with things, just like in the Psalms, as I struggle with things, you still don't leave me. You're right there. You remember me. You take care of me. You comfort me and you hold me until we're out of those situations and on the other side. God, I will struggle with the rest of my life of understanding the depth of your love for me because it's so foreign in my world. But for the rest of my life, I'm also going to thank you with everything I have in me for loving me the way that you do and blessing you just like in this, in this psalm. Thanks you for your loyal love enduring. Thank you also, God, for sending your son to die on the cross for everything I have done and everything I will do. The ultimate gift showing me how much you actually love me. In your son's name I pray. Amen.